Hi Leo, welcome back to Om Gara Taro and to another Love Bite. Leo, let's see what's the message here for you today and a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Leo Spirit, what, what does Leo need to know now? Leo. Ten of Swords, alright. Five of Swords. Oh, there's been an ending, a battle, and somebody is feeling very, very sad, very embarrassed, very ashamed. I think they do want to send a message to their person. They are watching, they are spying. Oh, 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 okay. Bottom of my deck, yeah, somebody wants to talk and clear the air here. They, they do want to talk, they want to send a message, but either they feel that the other person is very happy without them or has a lot of options this person is spying scared to take action now because i don't know this they either feel blocked or they did or said something in the past which is very embarrassing for them now okay let's see let's start let's start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then we'll clarify these leo and their person spirit Leo and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be, Spirit? Leo and their person, let's take a few more from another deck, Leo. Leo and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Just a few more from a third deck as well, and then we'll start the reading. Leo and their person, Spirit. Okay, good to go. Let's start the reading, Leo. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I would, I would wait for eternity to be with you. I will never let you go. You are my one true love. I've been waiting a lifetime for you. I, I was stuck in my pride and ego. And I'm feeling very frustrated and foolish. Exactly what I said looking at the cards. Uh, I was stuck in my pride and ego and I'm feeling very frustrated and foolish. I know that my behavior has really disappointed you. But I'm even more annoyed with myself. That sums up exactly everything I've said in the reading so far. I eventually had to let you go in the physical world because the pain became too much for me to bear. My emotional, mental and physical well-being became affected negatively. I'm still fighting my own inner demons where I felt that I wasn't good enough for you and the guilt of wondering if I walked away too soon. Who knew that one of the greatest challenges of my life would be the love of my life, who after meeting would eternally haunt my very existence. I love you not only for your beauty, but also for your soul. Our, our love will be alive forever because of the way you are. Pure, true, authentic, real, raw and passionate. Somebody's come to the realization now. You made me see a side of me that I've grown to hate. I want to fight for this connection, but I just don't know how. I seek strength and courage. I wish I could have been emotionally available and let you in. I don't understand why you hide your feelings from me. And whenever you do open up, you run and hide. When you do get in touch, you act as if nothing has happened and give me little to no explanation as to why you just vanished. This behavior makes me feel unappreciated and not valued by you. It wasn't you. It is. It was me. I am to be blamed. I accept fault for this. Nobody is like you. You are exceptional. You are special. I hope we can come back together and pick up where we left off. 
All right. So these were some of your messages, uh, Leo. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start this reading. But first, I'm going to take an angel blessing card. And this one is for the viewer. I mean, Leo, this could be you watching, could be a cross watcher who's come here to check on your energy. So a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for the viewer. Here it is. And this card, Leo says, look deeper. Sometimes when nothing is happening, you feel the, oh, the other person doesn't care or, you know, it's all over. But you don't know. And even an ending can be a catalyst for so many changes that come, you know, into a person's life uh, f for the better or worse or however. I mean, everything is a catalyst for change, right? So even when nothing is happening, a lot could be going on under the surface. So look deeper. Okay, Spirit, now tell me, uh, what's the Ten of Swords as the first card for Leo's reading today? Somebody is very depressed, very, very depressed. Maybe there's been an ending between the two of you. Yeah, the things have, things are in troubled waters, things are not going forward uh, at all. Yeah, somebody is heavily thinking about this now. I think somebody is heavily thinking about this. Uh, they, they've come to the realization that they don't want this chapter to shut down or they never did. But maybe they, they weren't making up their mind either. Maybe this person was very prideful and egoistic. This person is having some major realizations about themselves. Maybe about their own past bad behavior, their egocentric ways or their pride or uh, selfish behaviors. And to, as to why the other person maybe has now gone off or why they are angry with me. I mean, now they're realizing, no, this was, this was something which could have been very happy but yes somebody was kind of in their ego in the past and they are realizing that that is what caused the ending it's like yeah my ego my pride um, it was always my way or the highway no wonder my person is still upset and angry with me they're devastated right now they're devastated now that now they are focused on i mean not focused but they are sitting in their guilt guilt and you know sadness and regret of the past feeling very unmotivated with life looking at their future and not seeing anything very exciting happening i um i don't know uh, tell me tell me more why are you feeling so sad first come on five of uh, five of cups they're feeling imbalanced. They're feeling nothing is really going their way. Uh, they feel that uh, they made the wrong choice maybe in the past. Maybe this person did something very immature or hurried. They didn't take time to think about this connection in the past. It was like very impatient kind of. Maybe they were the ones who were impatient in the past. Came across as a bit of a player in the past. I don't have time. I don't have time. I have so much more to do. So many other people to meet. I'm not interested in, you know, long-term partnerships or commitment. Mm, they are realizing that that is what kind of led to the catalyst of the other person being unhappy with them. And why they have left them behind or something i don't know the, anyways this person is very focused on all the stuff that went wrong in the past and they are devastated about it okay so now tell me spirit what's the page of cups what's the page of cups they they now okay so i think they're feeling now that things have kind of backfired on them so I think they want, okay, let me see. Same cards again, my God. This person is now trapped in their mind. They could also be a little worried that the other person is now talking to somebody new or they're going to find themselves a new partner uh, and that they are seen as somebody who's undesirable or that person is very upset and angry with them. Why? This person is just overthinking it, it says. They're just trapped in their head, imagining every possible scenario. I think because they now realize that this is the person who was meant for me. But they could be seeing that person moving on. Now they're imagining my person is going to move on. They've ended things with me. They're not hurting at all. Look at them. So making their own dreams and wishes come true. They're happy in their own life. Now they're going to have so many options. The world is going to open up for them and they'll have many, many suitors, new suitors to choose from. Nine of Cups. 
this person is jealous oh yeah that's what it is yeah they, they're jealous and they don't they don't want that person to take a leap of faith in a new direction or find somebody new one more for some strange reason i think this person was sitting in a lot of ego and a lot of pride i don't think they expected that the other person would change up on them they always thought that maybe they were the chosen ones but now they they could be saying that person may be moving on and now they are dreading that they could be somebody better than me what if they find somebody better than me and look at them so happy they're going to end things with me this with this friendship or something is going to come to an ending and that's what's making this person sit in fear they feel the other person has totally turned their back and now they're going to be you know maybe checking out other people and they'll have so many new options uh 7 of cups 7 of cups 7 of cups yeah because they they are now they are scared now that because they took too long to make up their mind maybe this person was just standing at crossroads saying i'll make up my mind when i want to i'm not ready yet they feel because they never made up their mind a decision has been made for them like i said this person had a lot of pride they had a lot of ego it they all they thought that they had the upper hand but now they feel the other person doesn't want them back in their life anymore now they are hugely disappointed because they are the ones who are feeling dropped they feel the other person has picked up their sword cut them out of their life and finished things with them will never trust them again uh, they are now seen as somebody very toxic and have been released now the fear is that even if i try i don't think they'll ever forgive me this person is sad and regretting because they feel they've lost out on a very important connection yep they are spying they still they still they can't get all this out of their head they are still watching uh page of swords in reverse page of swords in reverse but page of swords in reverse yeah they are spying they're trying to figure out uh, where the other person is going uh have they healed are they I mean, maybe they the other person is looking like they're not really you know hurting over them so they are spying to see uh, have they healed over this have they moved on uh, why are they not moving towards me maybe they are the feeling the ones who are feeling blocked i mean whatever this person is going through a lot of anxiety a lot of sleepless nights a lot of nightmares now because they know they they know they were in the wrong this person knows that they were very egoistic and prideful and selfish and self-centered attention seeking never took the right actions uh and that's why they've been blocked yeah this person is devastated time and time again it's it's almost like they're seeing themselves as this now like what what was i doing what was i doing now they know why things have come to a halt and they are they are feeling blocked totally yeah this person doesn't have the courage right now they've lost their power they lost their courage they don't know what to do they they don't even know how to go and tell their person now that to express what they've been keeping in their heart they 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 don't even know whether they can open up because of the way they behaved maybe this person refused commitment in the past it's like now they want to talk now they want to talk they've had the clarity so tell me king of swords i'll give you the mic uh, would you like to add something to this since you are the overall energy for leo's reading today good good okay one more okay so okay so this king of swords has had the mic remember so this is what they are saying i don't want them to hold back from me i don't want to hold back from them i do want to open up omkara tarot i do why because this person this king of swords want to wants to rush back in they want to rush back in with some communication it's almost like they they're telling me i didn't expect things to end I just thought maybe later on maybe later on uh, you know I had all the time in the world and uh, now they are fearing that maybe they've lost their spot maybe other people could be vying for their person's attention like I said this person has learned some lessons 
they they always thought that i don't know either this person was thinking once i have my life in control then or they had they thought they had all the time in the world but whatever said and done they know that they did something very wrong by not making a choice they made they they didn't make a choice they should have put the hard work in instead this king of swords i think took the other route where they you know pretended i don't care or maybe they lied or ghosted or cheated or whatever this person was doing to avoid making maybe some major decisions when they should have so well that's what i have for you till next time then leo love and light take care namaste